blasting session if you like of my 6S Redcap Landslide XTE. Now Redcap do not make a 6S Landslide XTE but yours truly fit the spare 6S armor power plant into this car. The stock car will actually run on 4S as a bell, 42, 43 miles an hour. Now up until now I only tested it around the yard, I will put a link to that video below this one and it was fairly impressive if not ferociously fast around the yard. Now today, it's like it's first shakedown run so once I got going I was able to give it full throttle a couple of times and it's quite quick I will say. Just how quick? Yours truly is going to put the GPS on it later this week as luckily nothing busted in today's test session so over the weekend I am going to run this thing flat out because we've got the power hobby belted tyres on it which are obviously designed for speed so if you don't want to miss that speed run video then don't forget to subscribe anyway the body has taken a little bit of a pounding today as I was getting used to the car which is like a backflip god in the air not quite so good on the landings but that was down to yours truly getting a feel for the car bearing on it's the first time I've run it the one thing I would say does anybody know if you can buy a wheelie bar for the Red Cat Landslide XDE because I definitely think that would help in saving the body. Anyway, we are a little more freer in what restrictions we're under here in California right now. So let's head straight down to Shell Sands, which is the only place to go and test this thing out. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Well guys, out with the Red Cat Landslide XT this morning, running on 6S down here at uh, a sunny Shell Sands, but there's quite a few people around, so I'll have to take a uh, little bit of care. We've got a pair of belted tyres on here today, so it's the first test of those outdoors. Let's see if we can find somewhere to get this thing up a bit of speed. Now, those power RB belted tyres, you haven't feed the power in quite a bit because on a full drive, it will still want to freely in the blink of an eye. Do not ask me how many takes that has to get out to recover like that. But the suspension on it today is not. in the back of your head. And 21 out there doubting the Armat Success Power. There we've got Armat Success Motor in there, BLX 185 ESC. Now in this video today the car doesn't last too long because you've only got two tiny little battery trays in there. So that is something I might need to work on. Anyway, let's get straight back to it. Quite the landing I wanted, but I got the result. Now, at this point, I was thinking the battery lead had come loose, but I could still hear the fan running when I got close to the car. And it turns out, simply, the lipos had gone flat. Simple as that. So, need to fit some bigger ones next time out. Well, there is only so much fun you can have in one day, and it's not a bad out first out in for the Redcat Landslide XTE. The tyres, I've got a little bit limited grip on this surface on them, with it being a shorter wheelbase and accessor power. A little bit tricky to control, as it does want to swap ends quite quickly, because you've got no TSM or ABC on this. The only ABC or TSM is your trigger finger on here. Anyway, far more to come of this car, and, and fingers crossed we are going to speed test it fairly soon. I'm thinking this has probably got 60 to 65 miles an hour in it, but have your guesses in the comments section as to how fast you think it will run right now. So what do we think? Not too bad to my mind for its first test session on there. In giving it full throttle on the loose stuff, the back end is like really hairy in terms of moving around because this has got a very short wheelbase in relation to the power I have been putting through it on there. But I'm interested to see what it's like on blacktop where these tyres will be more at home and we can really put the hammer down on the car. But the lack of a wheelie bar has meant that to put a body has taken a little bit of a battering. So if anybody does know where I can get a wheelie bar or a tougher body, then please do have your say in the comment section below the video. Anyway, next time you see this car, it will be running with the GPS on, and we're gonna see just how fast the success Redcat Landslide XT is. So if you don't wanna miss that video, and if you've liked this one, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, stay safe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video, and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.